Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's true. Terra Classic could increase with more than 4 million percent if this happens. And yes, you heard correct. And it, no, it's not a clickbait. I will technically and mathematically explain and show you how this could happen. And I will do the calculations in this video so everyone can follow and do the calculations for themselves. Okay? So let's get started. So I started with the price today, or yesterday actually, August 4th, 2022. So let's write it. Um, yes. So I started with the price actually. It's different now, but from when I, I checked it. So the price when I checked it was actually 0 0.0000914. Dollars. Okay, with the market cap, wait, let's do like this. Price. Oh, let's do it a little bit better, like I did it myself. Hold on. Do, do, do. So, so. Yes, better. And a mark, market cap. Market cap. Market cap. The mark. <laughs> I can't, I can't write today. I'm too tired. It's in the middle of the night. Come on. Okay. And the market cap when I did this was 651,622,347 US dollars. Okay. And that gave a circulating, yes, right, C, circulating supply of 6,572,000. Billion seven hundred forty nine million one hundred twelve thousand three hundred and sixty six point three five one. Okay, that's a total amount. And there was a trading volume as well. Trading volume during the last twenty four hours. And that one was actually at 46,133,426 dollars. And we're talking US dollars now, okay. So I la later wanted to know actually what was the all time high. So when I check that, let's go here, historical data. But first actually I check like this, what could it be? Okay, let's do it together. It looks about here, right? Yeah. And which date is it? It's around April 5th. Okay. So then I went into historical data. I changed, let's, February, March, April. Here we go. Let's do like this. I want to do a longer range, actually, just like this, so we can check it. Okay. So we have the all time high here. What at uh, April 5th, $119.18. And we check it together. Okay. So let's go back here. So here we have um, April 5th, 2022. So we have a price of $119.18. Okay, great. And the market cap at this time was, here we go, sorry, 40 billion, 881 million, 699,067 dollars. So we know that now. So we're gonna write that one too. Price. Market cap was, oh, sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, where were we there? Forty billion eight hundred eighty-one six ninety-nine and sixty-seven USD. Okay. So that means actually the market cap this time was at midnight the same date, almost forty-one billion. However, it says the market closed at one hundred sixteen thousand. $116.11. So the market cap for this would have been a bit higher because this is like at right before midnight 
for the 24 hour okay so if we simply start by taking um, 40 billion let's do this 40 billion 881 699 okay divided with uh, this one here 116 116.41 hold on we are gonna calculate it together so 40 billion eight eight one six ninety nine divided one 116.41 we get this is about right 351 million so 351 million 187,175.21 that was the supply before the crash I think everybody could agree on that or something around this these numbers yeah um, yeah so and the trading volume was let's write that one too trading volume was two billion four hundred seventy eight million five hundred two thousand three hundred and thirty eight US dollars I could do this too <coughs> so now we have calculated two days we calculated what it is on August 4th and we have calculated what it was on the all-time high April 5th so now I wanted to check what if the trading volume with today's value increased to 2.4 billion like if this trading volume increased to this what happened then well let's calculate it together okay we can use the same here so we started with 46 million 133 thousand 426 okay I already calculated so I'm going to show you the percentage so you can see it okay so then we plus 5200 percent okay so 46 million 133 426 plus 5200% 5, we actually get 2.2 2 billion 286 million 71,578 US dollars if we actually had used um, 5300 we would have gotten a bit more so let's check that out so you don't so you can trust me so then we were gotten two billion four hundred ninety one million two hundred five thousand and four dollars but we're gonna keep it it's actually just not that far away but let's actually keep it a little bit more real or like not too high okay so now actually we need to figure out the market cap for this like okay so the market cap on april 5th 2022 was 40 billion 881 million let's just round it up like that here we see it okay and our market cap on august 4th was 651 no wait sorry yeah 651 million okay so for 651 million to get to almost 41 billion so 651 million 622 347 we actually need to increase today's market cap with 6100 percent plus 6100 percent so what do we get then <coughs> Six hundred fifty-one, six twenty-two, three forty-seven, plus six thousand one hundred percent. So we actually get forty billion four hundred million five hundred eighty-five thousand five hundred fourteen USD. And of course, we can we can check it six hundred fifty-one, six two, three forty-seven. If actually we would have used six thousand two hundred percent, we would have gotten forty-one billion. So it's a bit more actually but yeah it's still closer to that but i want to keep the 
like more realistic not too high numbers okay so even if I believe that the market cap of the all-time high was higher than 41 billion let's just play with the lower numbers okay it's like this lower number it's not the all-time high but still it's the same day now <coughs> how do we get a price at this time well we really can't we can only guess what the price would be at this point since we do not know what the total supply would be that is why we have to guess the total supply and what better than to use the 10 million or 10 billion supply that the burn is supposed to fix right so we're today at almost 6.6 .6 trillion circulating supply have it up here and that actually code you see it here too so total supply this but this is a circulating supply that I'm calculating so and the burn with the 1.2 percent then maybe, there was some other burn too as well it's actually gonna keep on burning until the total supply is actually 10 billion okay so now we know the total value of the market market cap and we know the supply so let's <coughs> Let's check it out. We have 40 billion, this amount, okay? We have 40 billion, 400 million, 555,514. Okay, so we divide that with 10, 10 billion. And what do we get? Well, it's actually quite easy. Um, just put the comma taken or dot here. However, I'm gonna show you here. 40 billion, 400, 585, 514, divided to 10 billion dollars. So, and the price is 4.04 US dollars. Okay, so then, but now when we have a market cap at 40 billion, more than 40 billion, with that 10 billion 10 billion supply we have a price of 4.04 US dollar for each Luna classic that might look high right yeah I, I agree I think so too it looks really high but the numbers are just the same numbers as uh, Terra Classic or Luna classic used to have okay so this actually means that Lunk would increase with more than 4 million percent if the price was 0 0.0001 okay. 0.0001 quite nice right yeah however everyone is talking about only getting to one US dollar it is easy to say that a market cap of 10 billion US dollars with a total supply of 10 billion lunk gives the price of one dollar right each and how much of the total market cap would a 10 billion dollar market cap be if compared to old numbers well let's just do it simple now divide 40 billion with four let's write it as we can 40 billion divided with four we get 10 billion right tight <laughs> yeah that's tight okay right okay when was the last time Lunk had a market cap of 10 billion dollars let's check it out I already checked it out <coughs> uh, historical data let's I actually saw that the market cap here let's see here May 9 was around here you have 11 million so yeah uh, but actually however I wanted to be more stable so I went back in time and what I found was actually this let's just go here last year 2021 in August we can check whole August I checked every month actually so here we can scroll down we see here august 26 we had a market cap at almost 11 uh, billion however it, it used to be 
12 billion so it just went down for one day and then up again so it's actually not the first time it hit 10 billion and that's what I want to shake so we have to go down a bit and then we come to <coughs> August 17 here oh. here we have the first time it came up over 10 billion 9 billion there 10.3 billion there and the price at this time was okay we can check it here we can check it uh, because it I think it was around midnight it went up it should have gone up around midnight so it closed here at midnight and then after midnight it goes down a bit and this 25 we have there so I, I would say 17 18 something like that no wait yeah no 16 17 sorry so when it first hit so I would say actually $22 it, it sounds more realistic you know because after midnight so we have the price now we know that let's see here the price here was almost 10 billion so I was actually recording this and just cut right now and I thought you could even see the page at uh, CoinMarketCap but you couldn't but you only see my Word document so I hope that is fine. So I have to write here again 22 US dollars at August 17, 2021. So, so 22 US dollars is actually around 18% of $119 so $119 uh, wait, 22 US dollars equals 18% of $119 so let's see here so great so we, we can check it out okay $119 divided 100 times 18 no that's not right 18 so okay a little bit less but still 18 and some small figures so now I want to know what is 18% what is 18% out of 4.4 US dollars let's write like this 18% of equals there we go. So let's let's check it out together. 4.04 .04 went to 100. We have this is 1% times 18. We get 72 cents. 72 cents or 0 0.7272. As you might see, I have a Swedish keyboard. This is the dot for Americans. We have the comma tick comma sign here. Okay, so we have 72 cents. That could be a realistic uh, price when the market cap is, yeah, 10 billion dollars. Uh, yeah, that was actually my video right now. So sorry for not showing my face. Well, I'm not that comfortable yet showing my face because I don't see myself as a youtuber even if it goes good but um, maybe I'll t I found I actually found uh, like uh, yeah, yeah so something I found online but until next time I'm going to bed now but when it's uploaded it's um, August 5th so Good night, everybody, and have a great weekend. I know I am.